Okay, good morning guys. I just wanted to shoot a, shoot a really quick video this morning. It's raw, unedited, one time through, hopefully we get it right. How to mount up your rotor. This is not how to cut it. This is just simply how to put it on the machine. I'll work with you when it's time to cut these things one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. First, we have to have our rotor, have it picked out. It needs to be clean. Okay, we'll talk about that in class, but it's gotta be clean. Then we need to find out which one of these heavy little pieces here fit inside the back of the hat. Okay, it's got to fit inside nice and clean, nice and clear. Got to be some room in there, okay? We want the hollow side pointing outward, not this side. This goes towards the machine. we we'll put him in in here. Okay, it's the first thing that we do. Next thing we do, we need a spring. Okay, here's the spring. This spring will fit inside this groove. If it doesn't fit in that groove in here, it is the wrong spring. You gotta use the right spring, the one that fits in that groove, okay? So put this guy in here, the spring going. Then we need a centering cone that will fit, it must be about this size here, that will fit the center of the rotor. Now it should be Sticking through the other side at least a little bit. Okay, it's got to fit in here like that. Word to, word to the wise, don't get a rotor from the shed that's got a great big center hole in it. We probably may, we, we most likely don't have the adapter for it. So pick one with a, an average size center hole in it. This piece goes on next. See how thin that guy is? There's some thicker ones out here, they don't work. Okay, this is the only style you use for this setup on these red machines, okay? It's a thin one. By the way, they're also numbered. Bigger number is the next bigger size cone, okay? That'll help you out. That goes on next, all right? Guys should be free to travel inside that pocket. Then your rotor goes on here. Set him on here for now. Just set him gently on the spindle. Be careful with that, it's sensitive. Within a few thousandths of an inch tolerance. Here's your outer cone, your outer bell. Okay, there's the groove, there's the pocket, it faces towards the rotor this time. Okay, because we need that centering cone to be able to stick inside this hole, all right, as we need to. So it'll go on there next. Set that up on top of your cone. Push this guy in place. Give him a good push. He's in place. Now we've got to take up some space here. Here's a really good big adapter, just basically just a spacer. There we go. Pretty good shape. Now I have to find the nut. Here it is. This nut can go on one of two ways. If I put it on one way, it's designed to take up any extra space that may be showing right here. If I put it on the other way, that's if there's no space showing here. Look at the nut, you'll figure it out when you see it. Okay, so put your spacer on here, push it up tight. Backwards threaded, so counterclockwise puts it on, looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to take a centering punch, this piece right here, it's a little tool, this looks like a punch, it goes inside that pocket, just give it a quick smack with the palm of your hand, that's all you need, don't get crazy with this thing, okay? Now he's on there tight, he will not spin, he's mounted up, alright? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this real quick, get a close-up on just setting it up.